What's happening today then? I rung you up <laughs> in a panic because we don't. Yeah, uh, we've been meaning to do this one for a while, but we haven't had a caddy because we actually really want a caddy. We really want a caddy, but we're a bit busy with transporters. But he's a really good caddy, and this young lady is cool enough to let us borrow it for an hour while we got our shit together to get this together. And this is actually what most caddy people have on their van. And it was like, you can film it, we can sling it together. Josh slings it together. I talk shit. That's pretty much how it goes. So this girlie is having a caddy awning rail, which is this guy. And these are on the website as a two-piece awning rail that goes on the top that allows you to have awnings hanging off the side. Sunny day, sat here, cup of coffee, shelter kind of deal. And then um, roof bars too. The girlie is keen to have a top box for most of the time and then a kayak probably or a stand-up paddleboard. So she's having three bars rather than two, um, which is possible. And then these are the traditional caddy blanking bolts that are the same as the transport ones. They're a bit soft. Um, and they're not suitable for hardware and attaching fun things to your roof. So we give, do like the, the caddy blank bolt upgrade, which is basically strong ass, sink plated, mild steel hardware. I'm looking at Josh for confirmation. Yeah. Is that good enough? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Close enough. Close enough. Eight out of ten. <laughs> um, I think that's it. Um, and we're just going to quickly sling it all on and then if you are on the website watching this video you can use this video to as a walkthrough to install these products yourselves along with we might actually have on the site this is just like a caddy roof kit um, rather than it being like 150 quid for that 40 quid for that 30 quid for that it'll be like 180 quid all in so we'll get our heads around that down the line probably won't because we're useless um, first things first here is the, this is a product you can buy on your own. This is called a Volkswagen Caddy awning rail and it's on the website. Um, we'll have a maxi version as well at some point that is kind of ready to go. Um, See it down the profile, down, 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 down the line. Focus. Oh yeah. Is that oddly satisfying enough for TikTok? Yeah. Nice. Um, most people, when they look at an awning rail, they're like, why is it in two sections? The honest truth is it's a bitch to send something really long. Um, but the weird thing is it isn't a pain in the butt pulling an awning through a gap like that. They just seem to just like hoon straight through. So don't be afraid that it's some do bits. Um, oh, maybe you could get on the ladder, dog. You could do like bird's eye. Yep. What are you doing now? The caddy's got these fun little inserts on the roof that if you don't put two washers thick, then the water can get in there. So we do a little double washer situation that comes with the caddy awning rail and the upgraded blanking bowl kit. And then basically you've got to get these in line with the holes. You're looking at this now going, hang on a minute, that isn't gonna fit the contour of this very convex, concave, bent roof, bent. bent. <laughs> the roof is bent, the rail will bend with the roof when we do up the bolts, all right? So don't panic. We're gonna line this up like this, and then this is gonna be a tiny bit fiddly, but we're gonna attach the roof bars over the top. Is that correct, Joshua? That correct. I'm getting a gold star today, because I'm doing very well. Here are the bars. Are the bars. <sighs> Aero pads, very squidgy. Um, these aluminum extrusions are pretty cool. It's got s, &S that goes all the way through it. Um, this T-slot here allows you to fit additional hardware, which is pretty fun with a T-slot bolt, which we don't sell, but we will sell soon. These are stainless steel feet. Here's the hole. There's a squidgy bit of rubber underneath so you don't make your van sad. And they, they move up and down. These are actually identical to the transporter ones, and these feet move that way and that way. Then you do them up. You can fit any van width or van. This is caddy width. Yep. There's a bolt. Anchor. Bitte. You in? I think I'm in. Tip. Top tip. Don't, over, don't keep screwing them if you think you're threading your bolt. This could be an exact measurement. I like to use the shaka. 
measurement, Shaka unit of measurement, which only works with, Josh, have you got the same size Shaka as me? I reckon you got a big Shaka. Your mom likes. <laughs> <laughs> this is Volkswagen Caddy. It has just had some roof bars and an awning rail attached. And now you can put your fun things on the roof or an awning on the side. So you now know how to install your Caddy awning rail. You now know how to install your Caddy roof bars. This is a product device called the Gazebrella. It's half umbrella, half gazebo, half a lot of other things. But um, it's also basically a massive umbrella with these legs that come down and you can fill up with sand on the beach. Or we also sewed a, um, an awning rail, like a K door on here so it can fit on the, on the van like that. But um, yeah, they're just so, it's really sturdy. You can't like, and then yeah. Imagine sat in here with your cup of coffee. It's not bad, is it? <laughs>